In this video, we're going to talk about War Against All by the band Immortal. This is a black metal band that has been very influential in the black metal scene. They've been around for a long time. I will give you some history on them and some philosophy on uh, what they're about. I'm fairly new to this band, but I did a lot of research, so let's get right into it. Now let me tell you about the new album by Immortal called War Against All. It is their 10th studio album and it was released on May 26, 2023 by uh, Nuclear Blast Records. This is the second album by Immortal since the legal dispute between the founding members who are Abath and Demonaz. So, so Demonaz is the only official member of uh, Immortal on this album. And he composed and performed all the songs in the classic Immortal style. So the album features eight tracks of fast, furious, epic, and mighty uh, Blaskush. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Blaskush metal. It's, uh, I'll be talking about that later. Uh, but it's a uh, cold and dark sound. Uh, they're bringing back that uh, sound in their early albums. Uh, for example, Battles in the North and uh, Pure Holocaust. So the album cover was done by Swedish artist uh, Matthias Frisk. So some of the songs in the album, War Against All, Thunders of Darkness, War Guard, No Sun, Return to Cold, Norlander, Immortal, and um, Blast Kiss My Throne. Okay, I think I uh, figured out the pronunciation. I have to go Google it. I think it's Blashirk. So Blashirk is a fictional Kingdom, uh, created by immortal guitarist and lyricist Demon Azza. Nearly all of his lyrics have been based on it since 1995. Blasirsk is a cold and dark realm where epic battles take place inspired by Norwegian winter landscapes, woods, mountains, fogs, and glacial valleys. Uh, Blasirsk is also the name of a song by Immortal from the album's uh, Battles in the North. Now, according to Demon Azza, he created Blasirsk to reflect his feelings of isolation and fascination with Norwegian uh, nature in winter. He said he likes the solitude of nature and that it, it inspires him to write music. He also said Blasiersk is a way to put some identity and meaning into immortal lyrics, which are not political or religious. He also said Blasiersk is a place where everything can happen. And now for a quick history. Immortal is a Norwegian black metal band from Bergen, founded in 1991 by guitarist and vocalist Abba Doon Akulta and guitarist and lyricist Dimonaz Doon Akulta. The band emerged from uh, two previous bands, Old Funeral and Amputation, which featured so many in original members of Immortal. Immortal's music is influenced by Norwegian nature, winter, and a fictional realm called Blasiersk that Dimonaz created. The band released 10 albums so far, with the latest being War Against All in 2023. So let's talk about uh, some of their influences. Uh, one influence is Euronymous uh, from Mayhem. He was credited for getting Abbott into black metal. Um, they're also influenced by Bathory and Celtic Frost. Uh, they were kind of pioneers in the black metal genre. They're also influenced by Slayer, Morbid Angel, and Possessed. Uh, kind of like showing their early uh, death metal style and lyrics. Also, uh, Creator and Sodom, they kind of influenced the thrash metal elements and riffing in some of the songs. And of course, which I talked about, Norwegian, Nature, Winter, and Folklore. So let's talk about the critics. They had mostly positive things to say about War Against All. Um, here are some excerpts. Uh, so, War Against All is a magnificent triumph. Listening to War Against All makes you want to focus on the classic bands that pioneered the movement. After all, Demon Ass is one of the genre's most important voices that demonstrates time and time again that he conquers no matter what. And this came from an album review from thedarkmelody.com. Okay, here's another one. War Against All is straight to the point. It doesn't bow to trends. Nevertheless, it is bound to prove a crowd pleaser. It's an offering that truly honors Immortal's past and continues to build up upon the themes that have defined the band. And this is from, again, The Dark Melody in their album review. Okay, I have two more, and they're in Spanish for some reason. So, 
Immortal, al estilo de Monaz, black metal, con un aroma 100% noventero en su sonido, que incluso en algunas partes nos recuerda al mítico Battles in the North de 1995, considerando por muchos uno de sus mejores trabajos en conjunto al intensar Pure Holocaust de 1993. That was from uh, metalsucks.net, and let me translate it, Immortal in demon style, black metal with a 100% 90s aroma in its sound, which even in some parts reminds us of the mythical uh, battles in the north from 1995. Considered by many one of the best works together with the predecessor, Pure Holocaust from 1993. And I have one more in Spanish. Seamos sensatos, era prácticamente imposible que immortal volverían a entregar algo tan majestuoso como su interior Northern Chaos Gods. De la misma forma, eso no significa que lo que Dimonaz ha sido capaz de crear totalmente en solitario no sea de un tamaño bastante voluminoso. That is from Rock Zone Mag, uh, another review, and the translation is, let's be sensible it was practically impossible for Immortal to deliver something as majestic as their previous Northern Chaos Gods. In the same way, that doesn't mean that Demonize has been able to create entirely on his own is not a fairly large size. That's a pretty bad translation, but you get the gist of it. And finally, let's uh, go through the songs. Uh, opening track, War Against All. It's a uh, fast-paced, a typical black metal sound. It has some fast-paced drumming, some blast beats. Some chugging guitars also has that cold atmosphere that's common with this band, and the vocals are very harsh. Thunders of Darkness, second song, starts with a rhythm that was similar to the last song. Um, not very easy to distinguish from the previous song. They kind of sound very similar. They kind of like blended into each other. That's what I felt. But again, fast-paced drumming and uh, heavy and harsh vocals. Uh, then uh, track three is probably my favorite, actually, called War God. More of a mid-paced feel. I think it was, it was like one of the better songs. It has more of like this bouncy rhythm and chugging sounds. I thought they were borrowing a little more from traditional metal. Um, they have that, some of those galloping guitars, like that Iron Maiden style. Then there's like this uh, interlude with the bass guitar. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then No Sun. This is more of that old school black metal with those tremolo picking, the dark sounds. Reminding me of that early 90s black metal, like Dark Throne or... This band in the 90s, it's also, it was pretty cool. I thought the main guitar riff was very good. It was a little repetitive, but it changed the tempo of one part of the song, which was cool. The Return to Cold, another one that had that classic black metal sound with some atmospheric sections. It was not too bad. It had an old school black metal sound with some melodic parts, and I also liked the isolated bass guitar parts. Then uh, Norland there, it's a seven minute instrumental Mix of heavy and light sections with a few melodic parts. They play traditional black metal guitar chords and some melodies from traditional metal. And then a song called Amora, which is like a self-titled uh, song. It's old school black metal, the sounds of the early 90s. Similar to some of the other songs in the album, lots of blast beats and kind of catchy. And uh, last one, Black Gear, uh, My Throne. This was maybe my second favorite. It was pretty good. Had that slow atmospheric intro, then this melodic guitar riff. Uh, a little slower than some of the others, a very full sound. I thought it was pretty good. They, they shifted gears around the middle of the song. It made things interesting, and that followed with this isolated bass guitar part where everything got quiet, but then continued with the melody. One of the... In conclusion, it was better than I expected. I'm not very familiar with this band or black metal in general. Thought it was a good album for someone like myself. Uh, I'm not really sure how black metal uh, elitists are going to react to this video, but I thought it was good. My favorite songs were definitely War God, Immortal, and Black Gish, My Throne. My score is an 8 out of 10, which is surprisingly higher than the score I gave the New Metal Church album. But that is all. Please remember to like this video. Helps me with the algorithm. Comment. I like to respond to comments. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And... Uh, I like to put similar videos at the end, so check out this. It's that solo album from Abbott uh, that came out last year. So check it out. See you in the next one.